greetings. I have lost concentration. How do you do? Oops, where is my head? Hmm, new weapon. Deep beneath the Frostback Mountains sits Orzammar, largest and proudest of the two remaining Dwarven cities. Once the seat of an underground empire, Orzammar now stands alone, cut off from the world by the Darkspawn, still clinging to the memory of its former glory. Below the vast statues and gilded halls where the noble families play at politics, the lower castes live in their shadows, scurrying to serve like their ancestors before them. Below that is you. You are castless, the dirty secret staining Orzammar's perfect society, forced, along with your sister, to sell your services to the crime lord Barat. To the rest of Orzammar, you are proof that the castless deserve their fate. But you know you do what you have to, the same as everyone, just to survive. I can't keep gambling on you forever, Precious. You've got a sweet look. Something to light a man on fire. But you gotta make it count. Please, Barat. Can we not do this in front of my brother? Why not? He knows the slope of the land, don't you, boy? You told me a lot of things. Not one of which meant more than a fart in the middens. Before me, your sister was just another duster. Now check her out. Braids down to here, gold cap teeth. She can recite elf poetry and play the string harp. Every man's dream. All she's gotta do is find a lord, squeeze out some kid who looks like him, and we're all living the easy life in the Diamond Quarter. Please, don't get involved. You know that never goes well. I'll treat her however I like, as long as you both eat off my plate. You keep your head down and say I to any job I decide is low enough for scum like you. In return, I put out coins so you can doll yourself up and get a belly full of some nobleman's brat. Then you both go free, and I get to join the family and be called my lord for the rest of the little prince's life. Well, unless I start seeing results, we're going to renegotiate. I'm giving you another week, Precious. If you haven't found a patron, you're back to sweeping streets. But I have. I've met someone. That is, I didn't want to promise, but he seemed interested. Everyone needs me. Because everyone has things they want in my carta, we're the ones who provide. Until you can do that, you're nothing but my errand boy. So shut up and do as you're told. Good guess. Your buddy Lesky's waiting outside. He knows what I'll need from you today. Don't even think about bungling this job. Your whole family's on loose sand with me right now. And I know you don't have anywhere else to turn. I'm sorry you had to see that. 
You know how desperate the nobles are for more children. They can barely field enough soldiers to hold the walls against the Darkspawn. If I could... give one of them a son, the whole house would celebrate. And we'd all be raised up to noble caste to join the family. It's what Barat's betting on. That's why he paid for my clothes, my voice lessons. He wants to share the reward. Yes. That is, I hope. He certainly seems charming. He treats me like a real lady, not just someone to tumble and forget. I... I don't want to say, in case I'm wrong. It just seems too mad to think of one of the most important men in Orzammar with... someone like me. Anyway, time is resting and I need to get dressed. These fashions will be the death of me. A hundred buttons on each sleeve. And Lesky's probably already outside waiting for you. It's sheer folly. One more way the nobles protect their status. They say castless soldiers are more danger to each other than to Darkspawn. That it's an insult to the smith to let us touch a fine-made weapon. Truly, they just don't wish to insult the warrior caste by showing that given the same opportunities, we could lead an army just as well. I have little love for the nobles, but they know, more than we ever will, what the Darkspawn have taken from our kind. Every noble I've met has had a brother or a nephew killed in the Deep Roads. Yet they let their arrogance blind them to the fact that we could help defend the city against the Darkspawn. Aye. They would even turn to humans for aid before us, it seems. There's been talk of an alliance against the Darkspawn. Even that the Grey Wardens have stepped up. But we don't have time for this now. Lesky must be waiting, and Barat won't like it if I'm late for my appointment. You know how desperate the nobles are for more children? They can barely field enough soldiers to hold the walls against the Darkspawn. If I could... give one of them a son, the whole house would celebrate. And we'd all be raised up to noble caste to join the family. It's what Barat's betting on. That's why he paid for my clothes, my voice lessons. He wants to share the reward. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you tonight.